Bensli'nin BİM'in Önemi Disiplinler Arası Bilgi Paylaşımı Konferansı'na hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Günümüzde karmaşık yapı üretimi sürecinde farklı disiplinlerin bir arada sonsuz, sorunsuz çalışabilmesi hayati önemde. Bina, altyapı, master plan gibi farklı ölçekler için tasarım ve inşaat süreçlerinde paydaşların entegre çalışmasına imkan veren BİM teknolojilerinin bu süreçteki önemi ise her geçen gün artıyor. Bentley, BİM yapı bilgi modellemesi yöntemi kullanılan farklı ölçeklerdeki dünyaca ünlü başarılı örnekleri tartışmaya açıyor. Bugün aramızda çok değerli konuşmacılarımız var. BİM'in önemi disiplinler arası bilgi paylaşımı konferansına tekrar katıldığınız için çok teşekkür ediyoruz ve açılış konuşmasını yapmak üzere Bentley Orta Doğu Yapı ve İnşaat Genel Müdürü Sayın Hasan Dajani'yi kürsüye davet ediyorum. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Thank you for attending the Bentley event. Uh, throughout the event, we will go through uh, some usages of the BIM technology and Bentley software. Uh, our distinguished speakers from various parts of the industry will show you how to utilize the tool for construction, for design, and various aspects in, uh, of the construction business. At the end of every presentation, uh, we will allow for a session for questions and answers. Please feel free to ask your questions. Uh, we are supported by other Bentley colleagues in the back, uh, Mr. Sirkan and Mr. Sulaiman, who can also help you answer questions that you might have. Enjoy the show. Uh, I want to talk to you about the advantages of, of uh, Bentley and information. What is the I in information? Actually, many people in the Middle East, the I for information stands for Mr. Isam. He is the leading in BIM technology in the Middle East. So our hats go off to, to Mr. Isam. Uh, I uh, want to talk a little bit about myself. My name is Hasan Dejani, as I said. I'm the managing director for uh, Bentley in Turkey and the Middle East. Uh, I, last year I spoke at this event, but I was working for, for Arabtech. Uh, I have uh, several degrees in, in engineering and construction management. Uh, my previous assignment, as I said, was with Arabtech construction. You will see some projects here where Arabtech, TAV, and CCC are working together on. I also worked for uh, Alcatel Lucent in uh, Riyadh and the USA. I worked for CCC as well and Bechtel Corporation. Uh, what is the mission for Bentley? What, is, what does Bentley do? We are the leading provider of technology and software technology for the construction business. Basically, that takes you throughout the phases of your construction, from your design to building it to operating it. And we have literally hundreds of pieces of software, some of which you probably use but don't know. But as, as, as we go through the slides, you'll start realizing that some of these packages like STAD and, and RAM are, are packages that you cannot probably live without as, as engineers, uh, civil engineers and architects. But you will see other packages that now are becoming very famous, like the BIM software Ecosim and, and Navigator, which our colleagues will talk about. A little bit about Bentley. It's almost 30 years old. Uh, we have 3,000 employees, over 3,000 employees. We, have, we are in 45 countries. We have offices in, in, in Ankara, and we have representations in Istanbul here as well. Uh, our revenue is over $550 million. We spent over a, trillion, a billion dollars in research and development uh, over the last 10 years. So since 2010, we've probably spent $1.2 billion in research and development trying to introduce new technologies to the business. Uh, ENR, for those of, no, of you that know what ENR, the Engineering News Record magazine, which came up with the ranking of the contractors and the, and the consultants in the world, almost all of them use our software. 88% and the number keeps on rising. Uh, we have over a million users throughout the world, 165 countries. And for any more information, I would welcome you to go to our website and look at it. 
what are the challenges that people face in the construction industry? You have delays, you have miscommunications, you have missing information and time spent looking at information. 76% uh, of the time is just looking for information. We hope by the end of this presentation to show you how you can utilize the software that we provide so you can be able to minimize the time delays and find your information quickly in order to take decisions on them. We hope also to increase your uh, is this a laser? Yeah? To increase your profit and reduce your losses. Bentley has software in all the solutions of what we call infrastructure, but it's in, in buildings, in roads, in bridges, uh, uh, mining, government, uh, Department of Transportation, almost everywhere in the US utilizes our software. Understanding the benefits of BIM. Through the presentation, you'll see how that uh, one single model approach will not work for building information modeling. Uh, the true model is a federated mo model and a layered model where every party, the architectural, the mechanical, and so on, civil, <coughs> architectural, structure, mechanical, electrical, all of them do their own models and they integrate it together and you will get the benefits of that. So building information modeling, what is building information modeling? You take a model and you can truly apply it not just for buildings, but to bridges, plants, roads, hospitals, any asset that you are building or trying to manage. The difference in the past, there were silos, vertical silos for the business. So you had the designers, the contractors, and the operators that did not talk to each other. And the information was kind of separated in walls. What BIM allows you to do is share information freely between the different uh, entities of, of the construction cycle. So information is power and you can make correct decisions on, on the information that you have in, in order to run your, your profit and make up the margin, the profit margin that you are, you are set out to do. How often have we had that, you know? In the field, they're working on a wrong version of, of what was, has been issued. When you integrate your solution into one single solution, federated though, you will be able to find out those problems very, very easily. In the past, the people doing the design would just give a set of drawings to the people that build, and people that build, when they're finalized, they give whatever they think as builds and, and, and manuals and specs, they give them to the, to the uh, operator. This becomes transparent. The data is interchanged easily between all uh, disciplines and all owners and stakeholders of the, of the, uh, of the project. Uh, I would like to show some slide with permission from the TAB CCC and the Arab Tech folks. I will just highlight some of the big projects that have utilized BIM. This is, of course, the Abu Dhabi airport. 700,000 square meters, $3 billion. This is built by the TAF CCC, Araptic JV. You will hear more about it uh, in a presentation by my colleague. Oops, too fast. Well, there was the, uh, the Art and Museum uh, project in Singapore. I'll see if I can go back. One, two. No. This is the Aldar headquarters in Abu Dhabi that also had to utilize them. Uh, plants, power plants. Am I pushing? I'm not pushing. I'll go back. Maybe because it was on, on slide anyway. Uh, all of these famous projects uh, utilize uh, our software, have utilized our software in one aspect or the other. Many of them uh, are utilizing BIM software to find the power of BIM. Uh, you know, you can imagine if you're doing coordination on site, you're looking at 2D drawings and you're superimposing electrical and superimposing your services and then your mechanical and uh, your interferences. This headache is all gone. This is one of the first benefits you realize from a BIM model. Our software, EcoSim, 
is, is made to do that. This, this is an immediate gain almost of something that you, once you buy the software, you learn the, the, the advantages of how to model and how to model, and you can get the advantages of a clash detection right away. Another big project which um, also our colleagues will talk about is the, the Crossrail project, uh, 90 or almost 100 kilometers of work where the platform is entirely Bentley software uh, and, and, and Ecosim and Navigator and ProjectWise, which are the, the flagship products that we have uh, are implemented throughout the project. This is a three, uh, sorry, a 10 year project. We have, I think we're halfway through roughly. Halfway through it, it's a $24 billion, which is roughly 50 billion Turkish Lira project. 90 kilometers, it has many stations, above ground, underground, relocation of services, modeling uh, terminals, and so on and so forth. The platform that they chose there was, again, Bentley. Just to show you the complication of this, these are the trains, but look at the, some of the stations are... This, this big, this uh, 200 million, designed to take 200 million passengers, 14,000 it created, 14,000 construction job, uh, like I said, 15 billion pounds or 24, 25 billion dollars over 10 years. And many other details our colleagues will, uh, will talk about later. <clears throat> Why did Crossrail use BIM? It's a digital resource of reliable information. There is one source of truth and that's in the model. Regardless of who uses the model, everybody can go to the model. Uh, my colleague Sam will talk about how they've implemented it uh, and, and listen to the part where he says all the subcontractors provide the data to the team. So the team, the, the, the, the, the, the contractor, the JV, can decide and work on the problems at an early stage. Obviously this is very hard to see, but th this is how they model their, their information. This is a little bit about the various stations. Each one of these is a project. How do you handle such a massive project? You do it in project-wise. Uh, I'll show you, these are all Bentley softwares, as I've mentioned, you probably are using or are aware of some of this. Uh, the Crossrail uh, team has utilized all of this and they will be utilizing the rest if they haven't done this already. This is all based on our common micro station platform which is also covered or uh, under a big envelope of, of project wise also we have anything to manage the asset at the end of the day when they t hand it over to the to the operator of of this project they need an eb enterprise enterprise bridge which manages this whole flow and uh, it's also covered by the bentley learn uh, this is as one of them is a, is a uh, you have to click for it, for it, not this one, I think, the next one. I'll show you, just click on it anywhere. It's a little video, 30 second video. Yeah, click in the bottom, bottom left. Yeah, bottom left, you will sign the left, left. Yeah, click here, move your mouse. Yeah. It's okay. If you move your cursor, you can move the cursor here. Just move the cursor here. You'll see a, a play here. No, click here. Okay, no problem. Well, and finally. Um, one of the things it allows uh, the uh, executives and the management team of the project is to come up with dashboards uh, to be able to see their status and progress uh, for their project. I will stop here and uh, my colleague Gaisam will, will take it on from here. I will finish up with the closing session and continue with the rest of the presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time.